Hello and welcome to Creative Cut Talks, the show that aims to promote sustainable visual arts and to bridge the gap between art creators and consumers. I'm your host, Chawa, a visual artist and an avid traveler who always makes sure to explore local art and collector's choices. Many of our museum experiences are led by visionary collectors who open museums to exhibit their extensive art collections. In my experience, the most serene and intellectually stimulating museums I've been to are those by a collector or, for example, a collector's residence. Have you ever thought of being a collector or perhaps wondered what's in it for a collector and what motivates them? That said, do stay tuned with us as we try and get into a collector's mind. Visual art collectors form part of the primary market of visual arts. They often shape the art market because of their connection with other market players. They buy what we call collectible art, a fancy term given to any form of art that is rare or popular. With time, the value of collectibles will rise. Collectibles could be anything from paintings, sculptures, prints, drawings, or even a sketchbook. Some believe that collecting is for the rich and elite, but in actual fact, anyone can become a collector. Young or old, imagine or experienced, art collectors buy art for a lot of different reasons. Many collectors seek to accumulate possessions no one else has. A collector has a certain passion or point of view for his or her collection. The most devoted ones are people who truly love and value the pieces that they purchase. A good number of collectors do it to strengthen and support an industry they love. Moreover, the community of art collectors has a strong special bond. Some people got into collecting as per social influences. They enjoy this brilliant lifestyle, where they get together with fellow collectors, more like a social club for lack of a better expression. Just like creating, collecting can be a way to tell a story and unplug. Art collectors take pride in sharing the story behind each collectible, whether it's talking about the symbolism, the artist's background, or how they found the art itself. They love sharing their passion with others, especially because they often feel a deep connection with their pieces. They express deep emotions through their collections. Where an artist gets a thrill from accomplishing a certain outcome in their work, a collector gets a similar thrill from searching and finally encountering an artwork. An interesting one is how collectors make purchases because they simply fell in love with an artist. Once collectors witness an artist's genuine passion and expertise, it could be the motivation to make art, how they became an artist, or how they developed a certain style. They instantly connect the artists to their work. Note, this is not your pity party type of connection. It's entirely art-based. They may then avidly follow the artist's journey and acquire more works of art from them. In many instances, over and above preserving art history, collectors' long-term goals are to pass a legacy to the next generation, be it their families or communities. Some collectors seek limited editions from high-profile artists to claim their stake on art history and heritage. In this way, they gain sentimental and monetary value for their collections. Now on the impact. Thanks to the influence of prominent collectors, today we see that more businesses have art collections and corporates sponsor large-scale museum exhibitions, making the arts more accessible to the public. They've helped place art in our common everyday lives and to promote artists through their well-established marketing channels. Something that has helped the relations between museums, artists, and businesses to grow exponentially on a global scale. That said, collectors are pivotal in promoting the sustainability of visual arts, and they keep artists motivated to practice. Knowing what motivates a collector can give you as an artist an edge when selling your art. And to anyone contemplating whether to start an art collection, know that diversifying your investments isn't just about wisely weighing between stocks and bonds. Alternative investments like visual arts may fit your profile as well. Remember to keep your mind and eyes open and then collect what you love. Thanks for tuning in. 
Creative Cut, filling the creator-consumer gap.